Hey everyone, it's still me, Nico. Um, <laughs> so a couple of different things. I have decided to stop with all the work shit until um, a little bit after my birthday in April. Um, this decision was made because I have an extremely large rather obnoxiously large family and I have them all coming over for a couple of days at the end of this week and um, I love them all and I want to make a whole bunch of dinner for them and I want to spend time with them and I'm sure a couple of them are going to stay a little bit longer seeing as how they're coming in from out of town out of state and out of the country so um, I don't want to be rude to them and I want to spend my time with them and enjoy them and hang out with them before you know they leave the country or whatever um so there's that and that's the first thing um so i won't be uploading very much of anything unless we take video during the party and i'm not sure we're going to be doing very much of that seeing as how my camera <coughs> this little piece of shit right here this little guy that i've been recording everything on before this right it has decided not to read any SD cards anymore. And so unless I, unless we have a chat in which we actually agree on things and it finally decides to, decides to start reading my SD cards, I am not likely to really record very much of anything during the party. And so there's that. Also, um, I just kind of, I kind of don't want to go into work mode while my family is here. And uh, I've been doing a lot of homework still on the 27 Club, which I'm, I'm still doing that project. I already have one video done on my other channel, She, Me, Her, We. And um, it's set to come out on March 23rd. 20, 23rd or the 26th, I'm not sure. Um, but that's the only one that's set to come out anytime soon. I have not recorded any of the others, although I have researched five episodes for you. I have not gotten around to actually recording any of them. And again, I apologize, but this is because I've been waiting to see if maybe my camera will behave itself, and it has yet to do so. Um, so that's thing number two-ish. Now, thing number three, the thing that actually got me to turn on my camera today, it infuriated me, it enraged me, I've been ranting about it with my sister for a little while now, is the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. It has its nominees up for induction this year. And there are maybe seven or eight induct possible inductees that uh, have contributed to the rock and roll history. And none of them are really being voted on, except the Eurythmics, but like none of them are really being voted on. The MC5 has been in the, the nominations for the last, I wanna say five years. And I have voted for them each and every time. And they get probably the second least amount of votes every year. Because a lot of people don't even know who they are. Which is ridiculous. Because they... They revolutionized punk as we know it. And I don't understand how uh, more people don't recognize this as being a fact. And I don't under understand how they haven't already been put into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame yet. But... It was brought to my attention today because I, I actually unsubscribed to the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame a couple of years ago. Um, although I do go back and check on it every year just so I can get more enraged and, and feel justified in my hatred for what it stands for now, which is uh, Music Hall of Fame, I guess. Which is ridiculous because it shouldn't be that. It should be the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. You want hip-hop artists to have awards and recognition to get a hip-hop hall of fame you want rap artists to have put rap and hip-hop together actually because both of them are kind of conjoined like twins anyway and so they should there should be a rap and hip-hop hall of fame and they should be getting their honors for their contributions into that world of music i'm not saying they shouldn't be honored they should be in the right genre and i don't understand why it is that they're not okay backtrack a little bit rewind it was brought to my attention today because dolly parton goddess that she is she um posted today how she didn't want anyone's votes to be split and so she wanted to decline her nomination because she has not contributed 
to rock and roll history. Now this goddess has finally put it into words. And there should be more artists every year who decline their nominations because they are not rock stars. They are not rock and roll musicians. They have contributed fuck all and nothing to rock and roll music history at all. And I don't understand why they get inducted. NWA, are you fucking kidding me? Are, for real now? Are you serious? Eminem, why is he getting an... Uh, why is he even being nominated? I do not understand. Why? Dion, Dion Warwick is being nominated. This is the shit that makes me go absolutely batshit insane every single year. I look through that list every year and no lie... I go nuts for at least a good fucking month until all the voting is done and everything and I realize who is in the final camp and I, I just, I sit back here and I lament the, the, the notion of what once was the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, the, the institution that I once respected, that I no longer have any respect for. I can't. It's like having respect for Eric Clapton. I cannot do it. I can't have respect... For the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame because they are no longer what they once stood for. They have lost all their integrity and in my eyes they have lost all dignity. I cannot look at them in the same way again. And um, I think I touched on something that I'm going to have to start a whole new video for. So uh, with that being said, I'm just going to kind of leave it here and uh, come back and rant a little bit more on something else. I will talk to you guys very, very soon. Bye.